try to speak yeah. up. Hi, it's Di with part two with our tips from the top in my home office in Palm Springs, California. I want to ask you, maybe some of you might remember, I don't know, probably not too many of you, a program called Car 54, Where Are You? And it was about a, a police car, and Car 54 was always missing. And here's a little white Arbonne car. And if you want to get your white Mercedes, you're going to wonder where this car is if you're not staying connected. You need to be calling us and being connected to your upline. Our GTC has just finished. Many of you have gone home super excited. And we're not hearing from all of you. So we <laughs> want to hear you. Where are you? Car 54, where are you? Here's your little white Mercedes. Quickly, my mother-in-law gave me this before I went Regen. She found this little white car. She wrote Arbonne on it all over. And on the top, she wrote International VP Dizek. So maybe you need to find a little white car and put it on your desk. I want to talk about Carrie McDonald. She was one of the top winners for the MVP challenge. And what Carrie said was, everybody on your team wants to be you. And that's really good to remember because sometimes you're so concerned with your promotion, either you getting to area or region or nation, that you forget that that consultant is looking at you as thinking, wow, if I could be district, that would be fantastic. Hi everybody, it's Patricia Hawkinson with DIE, Regional Vice President. And we're so happy to do this series of YouTube videos for you. So the next MVP at GTC in our training was Beth Malcook, and she had some really interesting things to say. But the thing that really caught my attention was take a breath, but never take a break. She talked about picking up her new Mercedes seven hours after she qualified for it. She didn't take a break at all. She talks about so many of us, when we get to a new level, we think, oh, I can relax now. I can take a breather. You may take a breath, but don't take a break. As Beth said, now is the time to continue with that momentum. She said, if you were training for a marathon and you ran the marathon successfully, after months of training, would you stop running when you finished your marathon? Absolutely not. Nor do you want to stop your activity when you've reached one of the milestones in your business and promoted. You want to keep on going. She says we need to embrace that train of momentum, grab it, and run with it. Well, somebody that did that, that never took a break, never took a breath, was Emily Martin. Emily Martin has five children under the age of five at age 25. Amazing. And has twins. So if she can do this, I'm telling you, anybody could. And I heard her say on a Learn to Burn training that her office is in a Tupperware plastic container under her bed for a long time when she got started. So she just pulled that out from under the bed. One of the things she said is you may not feel like feeding your baby, but you do it anyway. So you don't do your business based on feelings. You do it based on the belief and knowing what the outcome is going to be. She said, we do, you do, and then they do. Absolutely. Another of our successful MVPs is Valerie Waite. Valerie is a very, very cute, very young woman who used to be a grade school teacher. She also has a number of small children. And Valerie's used to teaching. And so she brought, and I don't have one with me today, but one of those toys that we called a slinky. You know, it was metal and it, it was coiled and you could move it from one hand to the other. And Valerie says that being a leader in this business and having a team is like a slinky on the move. And I love that idea. And she said the leader has to start. So you start your slinky moving. But even if you think about it, you could make a slinky go downstairs where the rear end would, bring, would go forward and then the front end and then the rear end and then the front end. And so as leaders, we want to start the ball rolling and we want to have our team follow us everywhere that we go and duplicate what we do. I'm going to go buy a slinky today. Yeah. I want to have one. Chris and Amy Weilert, I just love that couple. Yeah. And I love how they work together as a couple. And he was a real negative person in the beginning, and he came around. One of the things that Chris said was that you're going to have business builders that quit, and it's not your fault. 
you can do everything right and they're still going to quit. But don't blame yourself. He, said, he gave an example of a milk carton. And he says, you can call people and all of a sudden they've disappeared and you want to put their face on the milk carton because you want to know where they went. Anyway, Patricia, that um, I'll let you finish up here. Thank you, Di. Thanks all for watching us. Di and I are so privileged to have international teams. We're among the few VPs who literally do have people in all four countries. And we're so blessed and so privileged. And we do these YouTubes because it enables us to reach out to each and every one of you for you to see what we look like and what we're up to. And we hope that you find it helpful. It's really fun for us to do. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.